after tragedies, we always hope that there is light at the end of the tunnel, and that is the case in Beirut. After the devastating explosions, many of our furry friends also felt the effects. Good boy. Animals Lebanon, an animal welfare yeah. protection organization in Beirut, yeah. has reunited over 100 animals yeah. with their families. Many of these reunions were captured on video and shared. Times of recovery are extremely hard to overcome, but it's always easier when you have your fur child there next to you. Sherry, I always knew you were an animal lover, but is it to a different extent than I even realized? Uh, yeah, my, my dog, that's my baby. Like, I would do anything for her, and if anything like Beirut or if she was displaced, like, that would be the end of my life. If you were planning to buy the iPhone 12 and new Apple Watch, that might have to be put on hold for just a little bit. Apple confirmed that the new iPhone release date has been postponed, but don't worry, they do plan on announcing and releasing the new model later this fall. We're hearing that it should be released in mid-October. Sherry, what's on the docket for the new Apple releases? Well, they're predicting to sell at least 75 million iPhones this year alone, and then they're launching an all-screen iPad Air, two new Apple Watches, a home pod speaker, AirPods, and they're releasing something called AirTags, so they're um, I don't know if you know what they are, but they're like the tracking devices for keys. Like oh, tile. I got you, like a tile, yeah. Yes. Jamarcus Glover, Breonna Taylor's ex-boyfriend, was offered a plea deal that would claim that Taylor was part of an organized crime syndicate, which he turned down. This would have helped him avoid a possible 10-year prison sentence. An attorney representing Taylor's family in a wrongful death lawsuit blasted officials for, quote, the links to which those within the police department and Commonwealth's attorneys went to after Breonna Taylor's killing to try and paint a picture of her which was vastly different than the woman she truly was, end quote. So Sherry, what are your thoughts on the uh, no-knock warrants? I completely disagree with it. I mean, you have to announce your presence, um, especially if you are a law enforcement official, and let them know that you have a warrant to come onto their premises because that could be an infringement of their rights of um, search and seizure. Nancy Pelosi is under fire after seeing a hairdresser recently in her home district of San Francisco. The House Speaker was seen with a mask around her neck, walking behind a stylist who was wearing a mask. To me, this seems like a perfect example of those in authority not willing to follow their own rules, but expecting everyone else to do so. And let me just say this. I take responsibility for trusting uh, the word of a neighborhood salon that I've been to over the years many times, and that um, when they said, well, we're able to accommodate people one person at a time and that we can set up that time. I trusted that. As it turns out, it was a setup. So I take responsibility for falling for a setup. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Politicians, man, hypocrites. I know, right? And the funny thing is the video has her walking to the back to get seated and her mask is around her neck. I mean, you know, even in areas where you, you know, they're, they're making exceptions and you can go to restaurants, everybody walks through with their mask on. Yeah. And you wait till you're seated. It's a courtesy. So. Fire up that popcorn machine. Fire up the popcorn machine. AMC Theaters shares jumped more than 16% after news that more of its locations would be opening by the weekend. Theaters are scrambling to open their doors for the release of Tenant to take advantage of what I hope to be a flock of patrons, which sounds like an 80s new wave group, but Cliff, are you excited to get to the theaters? Yeah, I am. I actually texted friends to see when they're available to see this movie, and I think uh, I think we may go tomorrow night, like at the midnight opening. Uh, if I understand correctly, they're going to do you know contactless pay. Mm -hmm. uh, they are going to spread out the seating. They're going to have a maximum number of seats that they sell. Did you see that Jazz and Nuggets game? Last night's thrilling seventh game between the Jazz and the Nuggets ended with an 80 to 78 victory for Denver. The NBA playoffs are progressing with some exciting games as round one comes to an end. Another game seven follows tonight with Rockets Thunder at eight Eastern time. I have to say I'm rather intrigued by tonight's game considering the history of the players. I mean, can you imagine if these games were actually played at the home team's arena? Like, I mean, right now we would have a game seven, you know, in Houston, which would be pretty raucous and I, I can't imagine what would happen uh, I know there'd be some fights, there'd be some technicals, oh, some yeah. tussles. Uh, maybe pretty fun, but I mean, kudos to the Thunder. They've they've really they've fought, and I I do wonder though, without the home court, you know, being in the bubble, how much would that affect, uh, you know, whether it would be Game Seven or not? I don't know, but it's been exciting. Awesome. Well, thanks for tuning in to the news with us. My name is Sherry. I'm Cliff. See y'all. And we'll see you next time. Bye.